Oh, I am so excited to be here. It's such an honor and a true pleasure to share what I'm about to share with you today. And speaking of pleasure, what's the first thing that you feel when you hear the word pleasure? It might sound weird that I'm talking about pleasure given what's happening in the world, but honestly, this is exactly what every woman on the planet needs to be talking about right now. Why? Because pleasure is the doorway that allows us to connect within and to access our true power as women. And when I say access our true power, what I mean by it is that you're so deeply connected with yourself that you know who you are and what you want at every level, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. When you connect with pleasure, you connect with your feminine energy. And by the way, did you know that we women are wired for pleasure? Yes, we are. In our clitoris alone, we have eight thousand nerve endings solely dedicated to pleasure. So I'm going to say it in a different way. Pleasure turns on a woman's feminine power. Not to compare, and because this is not the battle of the sexes, but just so you get an idea of how powerful this topic is and why we must look at this and do something about it. Not tomorrow, but right now. Did you know that men have half of it? And this really means that we women are designed to experience pleasure, not to suffer and sacrifice or struggle our way through life. Remember what I shared on my other TEDx talk? When a woman closes her heart, nobody wins. Same happens when she denies herself from experiencing pleasure and joy. She's not happy, satisfied, or fulfilled. And as a result, neither are the people around her. Now, think about this for a moment. What's the first thing that you do when something feels really good to you? When you watch a clip that made you laugh or a movie that you loved? You share it, right? You tell everybody about it. And if you're like me and have Spanish genes, forget it. You know that within a minute, your whole family and community have already heard about it. Now, honestly, we've been doing this for generations. This is the nature of the feminine. When we feel good, we want others to also feel good. So in a world that values the mind over the heart, achievements over joy, success as in how much we produce or how much money we have in the bank versus how happy we feel inside or how much love we share with one another, a world that values the masculine over the feminine, you have to wonder why pleasure was made wrong or why it was said that was only for some some, particularly why we women were made to be ashamed and feel guilty about experiencing it. So today I'm inviting you to take a stand for your pleasure and to take your feminine power back. I want to be clear for a moment because when I talk about pleasure, I'm not just referring to sexual pleasure. Connecting with pleasure in the way that I'm going to share with you today is what truly changed my life. Now, I know what you might be thinking, and this comes up a lot among my coaching clients when I bring this topic of pleasure. Paula, I don't have time. Some even say, I barely have time to brush my teeth. What do you want from me? There's so much that needs to get done. I wish I had more hours in the day. Does this sound familiar? And I know it's not an excuse. I work with busy women. We women are busy. I was there myself. But what if you could create time? Think about this for a moment, because it's not truly about time per se, but the way you perceive it, the way you prioritize things in your life. Huh, did I get your attention now? 
We were conditioned to believe that doing things that brings us joy and pleasure made us be lazy, not responsible enough, not professional enough, be bad daughters, mothers, friends, and wives. This is the biggest lie. When you allow yourself to experience pleasure, you feel good inside from the inside out. You feel more optimistic and positive, more at ease and peace with yourself. Your mind is more calm and so it's your nervous system. You can think straight and have more clarity about your next steps and be more productive and efficient as a result. Instead of running around with no direction, which leads to depletion and exhaustion. Most of us don't realize how much we operate under the energy of obligation, meaning doing things because we have to, not because we want to or because they give us pleasure. Does this make sense? I really want you to feel the difference in the energy. Pressure, pleasure. When you experience pleasure in your everyday life, you are more prepared to face stressful and challenging situations. You feel taken care of because the act of allowing yourself to experience pleasure is a way to give to yourself. You're more loving, compassionate, and patient with yourself and others as a result. And this is huge, isn't it? Plus, when you feel worthy of receiving pleasure, instead of being closed off, protecting yourself, or working so hard for everything that you want, you are more open. You trust yourself and others. You are open to receive, and you naturally ask for help when you need it, and you receive it without the guilt. Big one, I know. You feel more supported, so you don't feel that everything falls on your shoulders. You have more time to enjoy your life and share it with others from a place of love and joy, which is what you've always wanted. Okay, I have a feeling that this is the part where your mind is going, she is bananas. I wish, Paula, I can almost hear you. This sounds like an impossible idea or even a utopia. But let's keep going. I need you to trust me because what I'm about to share with you is exactly how you can start experiencing this in your own life. When you allow yourself to connect with pleasure freely. You're in the present moment. You're not in the past or in the future. You're not worried about what you did wrong, what you could have done better. You're not scared about what's going to happen next. You are fully present with yourself and everything around you. I used to believe that in order to get what I want, I have to work hard and achieve more. If I don't make things happen, they don't get done. If I take time for myself, everything will fall apart. In order to be loved, I had to earn it. And you know what? I was miserable. I felt constantly disappointed, abandoned, resentful, and angry inside. I felt like a failure and that made me even more angry at myself. And that energy was spread ar- was spread around to everyone and everything I did. And I didn't even know I was doing it. So when I learned about the importance of pleasure and I started connecting with it, I began to know myself at a whole new level. I started to enjoy everything, even the crappy moments, because I was fully trusting myself and life. And I knew that everything was happening for me, not against me. And this is huge. I learned that I was worthy and deserving and I connected with that innate power that every woman on this planet has. The power to give life to everything we desire. I began to feel truly fulfilled from the inside out and to show up in every area of my life as my authentic self. It was so freeing. 
I have more energy and time and things got done with more ease and fun. I started to introduce play in my life and it was contagious, still is by the way. And because I was so connected with myself, I found my purpose. Remember, when we feel good, when our cup is full, we have so much more to give. We give without expecting others to validate us or to give us in return. We do it because it gives us pleasure. When we become our own source of joy, love, and abundance, everybody wins. Now, the two main pillars of pleasure are sensuality and sexuality. Today, we're going to focus on sensuality because sensuality is the easiest and fastest way for every woman to start introducing pleasure in her own life. What is sensuality, you may ask? Sensuality is everything pertaining to the senses the sense of sight, touch, hearing, taste, and smell. The practices that I'm going to share right now are going to make it tangible and practical, and I know you love that. But before I do, I'm going to invite you not to try to understand the science of it. Just connect with what I'm sharing. Let's start with the sense of sight. We can do it together right now. Look around you and connect with what you're seeing. Become aware. Does it give you pleasure? Remember, pleasure is an internal experience. You can bring something to mind like a fun memory or um, a day at the beach with loved ones or a sunset. Now close your eyes and feel this energy surrounding your whole body. This is you allowing yourself to experience pleasure. Feel it. In my coaching programs, I share this practice with all of my clients. I invite them to take pleasure walks where all you need to do is to focus on finding things that bring you pleasure and finding beauty as well because beauty and pleasure are very connected. When you see something beautiful, you automatically connect with pleasure. Sense of smell. The sense of smell plays such an important role in memory, mood, and emotion. And you have the power to control this by choosing smells that connect you with happy and pleasurable experiences. For example, you can use essential oils, have fresh flowers in your home, or a scented candle. I love going for walks in the summer and catch the scents of the different flowers, even the smell of rain. In the winter time, I love the smell of burning wood and baking. When you smell something you like, simply pause for a minute, close your eyes and feel it. How does it make you feel inside? This is particularly good for when you feel stressed or overwhelmed with so much going on at once. Trust me, the effects are immediate. Sense of hearing. This is probably one of my favorites that I also recommend to all of my coaching clients because pleasure is in the body. A lot of us women don't realize how much we're operating from the neck up, constantly overthinking, giving so much power to our minds, and we often forget about our bodies. Do you know what I'm talking about? So create a pleasure playlist. Put all the songs that make you feel good, alive, and yummy in your body. So whenever you have a difficult situation, an argument, or simply you're having a bad day, the fastest way to shift your energy to feeling good and connecting with pleasure is by putting a song that raises your vibration and makes you feel happy. I love doing this first thing in the morning, starting my day dancing to my favorite song, and this allows me to set myself up for a fabulous day, and it really works. Remember, it's not about having time, but about shifting your priorities and creating the habit. Sense of taste. 
With this one, I really invite you to taste life. We are so busy taking care of everything and everybody, and we often forget to enjoy the precious moments we have in front of us. Our minds keeps us busy enough these days. This is why we need to connect with pleasure, to connect within so we can be present with how we are feeling, to know what we need in the present moment and give that to ourselves, to choose to enjoy our lives today. When we do that, our tomorrows will be even better. Another thing, I invite you to taste the foods that you eat. Don't rush through it. Savor your food. It's so good for your body and your soul. Last but not least, the sense of touch. Touching is essential for all humans and it allows us to connect with our sense of belonging and feeling loved. So as for a hug, and I am aware that this might not be available right now for you. So another thing that you can do is to give to yourself a self massage by simply feeling your body. You can apply uh, coconut oil or sesame oil. Um, actually, this helps to reduce stress and, de and depression or your favorite lotion on your skin and do it gently. Not like you're wiping a surface in your kitchen without paying attention. Does that make sense? Apply it by connecting your hand with each part of your body. Gently, loving, being present. Don't rush it. Connect with pleasure with how it feels. Put even more care to the parts of your body that you don't feel so proud of. We all have them. Give them love. Feel the pleasure and the privilege to have the body that you have because without it, you wouldn't be here. Your body is your temple. I tell you, I can talk for hours about this. And at the beginning, it's definitely easier said than done. I really trust that you can receive what I've shared with you and at least try one of these. Be kind, loving, and patient with yourself. It's not about getting it right. It doesn't mean that you're a failure if you don't get it right the first time. You want to remember that for generations, we've been disconnected from our right to freely experience pleasure. So it might not come easily at first. You might experience some resistance and that comes from fear. You might feel unsure, weird, it's okay. I really want you to trust yourself. Remember that you're creating a new relationship with pleasure. You are dating pleasure. Practicing is the only way. The more you practice, the easier it becomes and the more pleasure you will feel. I leave you with this reminder. It's not about being perfect. It's about being present. Welcome to your new pleasurable life. Thank you.